Okay. My turn. I left a lace with Here me. Here I go. Hearing Elliot Craig perform in person is such a privilege. I remember listening to those two boys there playing during the war too. Their initial pieces were more energetic and aggressive, but what they have played since has been more heartwarming. Their music gave me the strength, so it through the day it does thought the time, so I'm glad I can hear them again. Elise, Mr. Craig, oh, you're from my brother's school. Does that mean June and Kurt are with you by any chance? I'm afraid not. Oh, that's a shame. They were in Saint Stray recently to solve some kind of problem, if I recall. Uncertain and create new problems while they were at it. I wasn't with them for most of it, but it sounds like it was eventful to say the least. I say I saw you two in the audience earlier, by the way. What do you think? What did I think? It was stellar. Your music just made me burst with energy. I never wanted to it to end. It made me want to put in the extra cells in music class so I can perform even half as well. You sure know how to butter up an instructor. I'm glad our feelings resonate so much with you. They, f they, f they did. Today was my lucky day. There's only one thing that could have. <laughs> I hope to see you again sometimes. And if the students who help out at the school take it alone, I can't complain. C certainly, there has to be more to what she say. I bet. Let let's talk to June about it later. <laughs> Fly! Oh my god, uh, out of orders. For how tranquil this place usually is, I can't help but always think of when the ILF made a mess of it. I remember being terrified when the princess and I were kidnapped at the time, but it feels like more a distant memory now. Every story I hear about you reminds me how strong a person you truly are. That sure made for a refreshing break. Okay. I'm not much of a avid music listener, but that performance was amazing. Thank you. I'm just in a way of how beautiful that was. I was so so moved. It's still lingering in my heart. Hey, 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 hey. Hmm, I may have permitted that boy to be friendly with my daughter, but he is still a commoner. I thought it best I watch over them so I could intervene in the event he tries anything untoward. I must say, however, that he and his family have shown themselves to be decent, honest people so far. They've given me no reason to intervene yet. Master, if I may... Your conference is scheduled to begin shortly. I think it may be best if you leave them. I know, I know. Oh! They come all this way! That concert was great. I never cared about music before, but that was awesome. Yeah, I had a big smile on my face the whole time we were listening. That music may have made me feel 15 years younger. Thank you for bringing us to this beautiful park, Charlotte. We own your father, Conlac Man, was it? For letting us accompany you. It's Count Rachman, Grandma. I didn't realize there would be an outdoor concert today, but I'm still glad you're enjoying yourselves. I believe we met those in Raquel and Ordis, didn't we? Yeah, Yuta, the rich girl. What do you bring for your whole family on a date for Domas? Whoa, wh what are you doing here, Ash? It's good to see you all again. We had our s s reservation about that very same thing. 
but Charlotte thought my good turn in health worth celebrating, so she invited us all to this wonderful place. To, to make it clear, it, this wasn't intended to be a date, even if it's quite well now spot for couples. Grandma, ah, she stopped giving everyone the wrong idea. Oh, Jutta and Charlov both gone readier than a tomato. Bet you two think you're being real cute now with your flirting, huh? Uh, anything better than those gloomy faces you had on during the war. Those were some exceptional talent youngsters. When I got home, I'm going to have to dig my old instruments out and give it my play. What a splendid recital that was. The day can only get better after listening to something so beautiful. Let me... Let, let my tongue try to say stuff. Ah, oh, we came to Sirius. Okay. Leading up to the war, I was too busy looking after my grandson and a degree of other woes to tend to the plants. I didn't like the look of the red weeds I found then when I gave them a quick look after the war broke out. No matter how many times I pulled them, kept growing, frightful enough that I up and moved the floor red. I planted those seedlings with my son, I don't want anything to keep them from growing. Could he mean Plemora grass? This old geezer looking, he's not the one being planted six feet under. Who here? Oh my god, Araboros. Lord Rufus is all over the papers again, you know. You think a guy that cute could not could do no wrong, but he's not cute anymore. For me to support going to war again. Yeah, sides we should we won't be able to hang out anymore if that happened. Oh, but you know who else is cute? The new priest president of Calvar. He's super huge. <laughs> you seriously? He's got like 30 years on us. That if I had to pick someone older, I go to car regnant. Okay, then. This conversation never happened. This conversation never happened. I didn't hear anything. Who is there? Oh! That was so good! Alright! We can officially cross Dreykel's Plaza off the list! I'm ready to hit up the next spot! There's no need to be in such a rush. How do you still have space in your stomach for more? <gasps> you insult me, Eusis! I need to try all the capital's mouth-watering morsels. I can't throw in the towel this early. You need to sample them all without eating more than your body mass in one sitting. <laughs> Says you! I'm still growing! I gotta eat! Growing up has less to do with regular consumption, and more to do with acting like an adult. Oh! Hey guys! argument to that, by the way. If you want me to start acting like an adult, then you've got to start treating me like it. How's the girl supposed to feel big without being called a big sister? Counter argument to your counter argument. That makes no sense. Uh -huh. Yes, it does. Don't be mean. I didn't expect you all to come this early. I see Elliot is already with you. Yeah, we just met up earlier. We were going around gathering info when we happened to see you here. Elise wanted to help us out too, so that's why she's here. I'll do my best not to trouble you. <laughs> I don't think there is any chance of that. You, you will be a fine help. 
If you need anything, just lean me on me. Thank you. I will. I think anyone can tell at least it's going to be a more reliable asset than you here. Rude. <laughs> Seeing them at a stall together takes me back to the summer festival. How was that only a few short months ago? It feels like so much longer. I can't imagine you see so that Ru what Rufus is doing coming either. It has to weigh heavily on him. But at least he has medium to help take his mind off it. Look! You see, sir, are you... It's because he got three bottoms on his shirt and belts and an open shirt and he's skinny and his clothes Could he be see? I just stop thinking, I don't want to think <laughs> Come on, give Big Sissy some love Please remove yourself from around my neck But we haven't seen each other in forever It's barely been two weeks That's two whole weeks She whines but she's not trying to escape <laughs> Yeah This is how it always is with them too Hey, do you wanna try some gelato or ice cream from one of the stalls I'll treat you? The milk ice cream is super rich and tasty. I'll pass, I need to leave room for lunch. You are never gonna grow any bigger if you only eat the bare minimum, Tilly. I've gained another ra rage on your size our, on our last update. At this rate, you're gonna need heels to get anywhere close to my head. But then again, I'm older, so I may have earned it. <sighs> oh! One ice cream cone, please. Five scoops. You only allowed three scoops maximum. Then I'll take three, but I appreciate it if you made them as big as possible. She really doesn't want to lose this. Things they got going on, huh? At least they're bonding in their own. Anyway, were you guys gathering intel or just on a date? We were not standing idly and we were certainly not on a date. We've been looking into the flow of goods in the capital. That will explain why you were visiting multiple shops and stalls. What have you learned then? Well, it seems like there's lots of groups buying stuff in bulk lately. All kind of stuff to food, orbent. It's also like they're getting ready for something. That is unusual. I could get panic buying in response to crossbell occupation, but lately implies before that. Yeah, the war's over and winter they're still far off, so it can be stocking up for the weather. Then why? The buyers themselves are suspicious sorts. When, when we started looking into them in details, we discovered they were either starts up or forage. That and they all or appear to exist in name only. That only adds to the mystery. Oh, you're already done with your ice cream? What, wasn't it good? Well, yes, I have to admit that. Ahem, <clears throat> we're not here to discuss ice cream. If the buyer succeeds in name only, could we be dealing with cases of fraud? Actually, no. The transactions are legitimate. The sellers received their money and the goods were dispatched. But the other significant mystery is that there is no record of where any of those goods ended up. The intelligence division has tried to track in some of these orders. 
but they just get forward all over the place before dis disappearing along with other orders like this. They may have a better luck if they market an order from the moment it's placed, but hey, let's right by the time they realize they have dealing with another one of these the transaction is already long done so do we think whoever is doing this has gathered all the stuff they need by now probably it sounds as though we are dealing with some very skilled criminals perhaps the Re reborn imperial liberation front is hoarding supplies what it is? Nothing worthy of note. I was just wondering if it perhaps may lead to Crossbell new supreme leader instead. Well, it could. True. I just cannot fathom why my brother would be foolish. I thought he finally learned his lesson. It makes me no sense to me either. It haven't known him, I haven't known him that for that long, even even if we were both iron blood. But after we bet him in the Imperial Fortress, he seemed pretty much done. I think we were all under the same impression. Either way, speculation on what he's trying to, dis to do serves us no purpose in the now. Regardless of his reason, I'll be sure to right his wrongs as his brother. I'm sorry you're going through this, Yusis. Right now, our primary focus is in him, but the mission, missing prince and princess. That doesn't mean we can afford to turn a blind eye to Crossbell Mine. I'm just not sure whatever the crisis there and their disappearance are connected in any way. But whatever the answer is, when our focus in inevitable turns to him, you won't be alone in confronting him. So don't try running off alone, alright? I... Don't worry, I won't dare. I'm well aware that there's only so much I can do alone. Hey, good, cause your friends are here to help you in times of need, and you need us here. We are always here for you, Yusis. Well then, well then, shall we get back to gathering information? That would be wise, the more we can find the better. Then let's go 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 go! Me and little bunny re ready to go. Indeed, we can let the rest of class 7 the only ones working hard. And I'll be here for whatever you need. Is she trying to tell me like, put me on support? Dude, <laughs> dude, calm down. I know, I know it's always like this, but dude. Uh... Complete immunity H for two turns. Dude, okay. I'm sorry, Elise. I'm very sorry. But this one, he wins. <sighs> yeah, he wins this one. A million? Physical immunity, strength, movement, delay, balance down, four turns. Okay, let me let me fix juices now. Equip them. How oh, was it only been six months since the war ended? It feels like it's barely been six weeks. Now the government directly is acting as chancellor. The former chancellor dictator like laws are all but gone. But just as we thought things were going to calm down, look what we got happening to Crossbow, shaking things up yet again. The Emperor and Empress must be worried sick. Princess Elfin has tried to put on a brave face at school, but deep down... The sooner we can find them, the sooner everyone can rest easy. Right. Let me know what I can do to help. Everything. During the lead up to the war, I was fully convinced I could do anything to help my country. 
I sold all my family's belongings and donated my mirror to the state. Life is now difficult to say the least. I don't know where I'd be without my friend here in Hemeldor. I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of this. To what? Lionheart, Ranger, Race, Arnor. The Rodangarian feeling he's not dead and he's out of orders. Okay, you are not dead and you are part of our words. The end. I remember getting really excited by the speech given here before the war. But the more I think back on how we all reacted, the more strange it f seems. Why we were so eager for war? This era is just full of history, both good and bad. My wife and I are like just itching to take picture of the palace. The imperial family been under a lot of pressure lately. The crown prince's actions certainly haven't been helping. But the emperor and empress have been so sincere and in addressing us with all that's been going on. Prince Oliver and Princess Alfin have been often seen touring the capital to learn how to better our lives. Either effort have moved been so much that I just have to come and bask here in the palace majesty. Uh, and have I basket? You bet I have. Feel on it, feel more blessed just by standing here. This man is quite peculiar, but I'm certainly hearing his kind words will have make her highness so happy. I'm sure Her Majesty must be so relieved now that the Emperor has a clean bill of health. Maybe even overjoyed after the royal wedding. A shame there was no parade, but I send the bride or groom my love. The Imperial family is the face of Erebonia. So as far as this girl is concerned, their good news is our good news. Now that the IDF is no more, we often we of the Hemildar Limitary Police are responsible for guarding the palace. So that may may well change once the professor of reorganizing the army is complete. The Ashen Chevalier and Class 7, a pleasure as always. His excellent representative Recknitz has requested we give you our full cooperate. If there is anything we can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. A reward clue? Ah, wait, I thought I thought I could read it. Oh well, here comes class 7. We haven't seen you since we were all at Edel Rest Lodge. Hello, it's good to see you both. Weren't you heading back to North Umbria when we last ran into you? That's right, and the train started up again right after the war ended, so we managed it. But there's been a whole lot of campaign of independence there, especially with how Crossbell went. The situation's calmed down for now, but still more heated than it ever was before. So we came back to Erebonia thinking it'd be a bit safer and a good place to make a little mirror. We did make quite a tedious sum during the summer festival, so I can deny that played a part in our decision. But we also came to learn there are so many kind people here like all of you and Edel. Thank you, although that does make me blush to hear. But it's hard to declare that Erebonia is calm at the moment. We figure that after Crosswell. But our sons made good friends here, so I think we are going to ride this wave after all. Either way, I imagine you are all going to end up as busy as you were during the war. So please stay safe, we'll both be praying for you. And the same for you. I thought she was like, okay, take it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The military police seem very tense. I'm sure the team that has to mess with them is in for a pretty severe talking to after war. 
at least that won't be my problem because my team is going to win. Artem say his family moved here from North Umbria to make money. And he say this way more fun to play with us here because they are not allowed to play outside much more. The salt made it super empty out in the in the sticks and series are super worked up because they want independence. That took me north to North Umbria before, but it sounds real scary now. But at least we get to play together a whole bunch here, so that's good. Yay, playing sounds fun. This long journey here from North Umbria is so boring, I really want to run around. Why gave him that voice? Our temps here, so let's split up in two ever groups and play kickball. Whoever loses has gotten stare down one of the soldiers for 10 seconds. <laughs> Alright, let me drink my. I think I got two more places. One, um, one more place to go. Okay, wait. Ah, okay. I'm like, where's my Orwell station? Ah, right there. Right here. I'm here to buy some new clothes for a trip I'm taking with my boyfriend. Ooh. Now that things around town are back to normal, we figure now will be a good time to visit Ordis. The sun must be really bright out there, huh? I better make sure to bring lots of sunscreen with me. Hey! Ah, I must admit it feels a little wrong to be out shopping while Crossville is under siege and all. But at the same time I got to do something to keep my spirit up or else I will completely lose my mind. All of which is to is to say that cells at the Jurai branch are great. Nice, good work out there, Sefa. You mentioned something earlier about an independence movement though. How did all of that pan out? Things must have been pretty rowdy, what with protesters demonstrating in front of the shop and all that. It was fairly volated for a while there. From what I understand, there have been attempts, even without the government's intervention, to de-escalate the situation. As a result, the indispensability is displaying in an effort, an effort to gain the sympathy of the locals. Gotcha. Well, I'm glad to hear things aren't looking so hairy out there now. I've got a feeling we have a certain someone to thank for tidying things up, but either way, we should count our blessing. I'm not sure I follow. It's fine, don't worry about it. All that matters is that your right branch is good shape. Keep up the good work as managed there, Sefa. Thank you, I will. Although, it feels a little surreal to be called a manager these days. As far as I'm aware, Crow- I was going to say Crow! Okay... <laughs> Howard must sense his hand in all that's been going on, however, might not. What is that? Oh, I'm not very poor. Okay, what about boots? Okay. Uh hmm. Mm hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not too poor, so let me. No! Okay, I'm getting poor. Damn, I'm poor now. I don't think that was a good idea. I don't think. Give me monsters, please. Oh yeah, I want to see what I can do, if I have stuff. Nope, okay. Okay, let's see. The soldiers. Ah, well, if it isn't everyone from Tors. 
If I remember correctly, he's Wayne's father. Hello, it's good to see you. Looks like you are patrolling the capital. Is everything okay? As you can see, things are peaceful as ever. Even the tourists have returned. There ha hasn't been any big incident as of late. Well, other than crossbow situation making front pages news. Ah, yes, instructor. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the military police have been informed of the situation with his Hynet or Sieves proclamation. So, everything really is being kept on the wraps then. Thank you for your speaking with us. If anything changes, please let us know. But of course, assume this is part of your special ops. Good luck, everyone. Welcome, have you already read the latest issue of the Imperial Chronicle? The former governor general escaped from prison and appeared at the Crosswell signing ceremony at the SSS was defeated by the Ebon Defense Force. I hear the cover story was supposed to be a special feature on Crosswell Independence but it all got re revised. I just hope all this chaos doesn't lead to war. Gosh, my big brother is always leaving me in charge of the store. He's talking about how great this is, but he's the only one who gets to skip out work. You know what, thought? I should just be grateful things are back to normal. I'm willing to indulge my brother's selfish Nash for a little longer. We have, we have been cut, catering all sorts of business like crazy lately. Business has been booming, which is great, but sure makes me keeping tabs on stocks a challenge. Just a handful fewer customer and we be on easy street. What, what do you sell? I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm poor, but. Oh my, it is in serene. How wonderful it is to see you all again. I hear much about your exploit during the war. I read all about them in the Imperial Chronicle. And <laughs> good to see you too. Has it really been a half a year? Things are more or less back to normal, but the fault of war remains as you can see. The annul annulment of war of part of submissidary aid and increase in tram fare. I hear taxes were raised for a time in countryside towns as well. Even the four great houses and the RF group are struggling to raise money. The empire's financial woes are downright palpable. So it appears, you can sense it even in Levis. I swear Juicy's face goes sore that second anyone talk about Mira. Hush you. The fact of the matter is that either we nor the Empire can continue as we once were. We must find a new way for war alongside representative regnets. Ah! Okay. Your patronage today at Plaza Fit Bros is most appreciated. Please note we aren't importing products from Crosswell at this point. We are however still receiving shipments from other nations, so do peruse our variety of shops at your leisure. What do you have? Ah, no, never mind, never mind, you are not a shop. I won't say the Republic relationship with Empire is particularly great now that the war is over, but hey, I'll take it. Even if the wall rep reparation thing has created quite the ruckus, but thanks to the Republic's new president, things on the domestic front have established and we are finally seeing some normalcy. So I'd be lying if I say I wasn't a little concerned about things in Crosswell. Be that as it may, I intend on continuing my job and support every expiratif called Varian.
perhaps it's because things have settled down but wealthy on certain books have been published recently. For inch book owns con contraband are practically flying off the shelves. Will you buy? Yeah, yeah. Oh! What? Oh! Is that Alan? Bridge? Hey, Rin, fancy running into all of you here. It's been a while, hasn't it? Alan and I were just enjoying some quality time together between one of his missions. Sorry to interrupt, so does that mean the army has been keeping you busy? Pretty much, the armor division have been stretched thin due to being scaled back. I'm doing everything I can to reduce the load on General Craig and Lieutenant Colonel Nadar. I still own them a lot after the war. That's why I volunteered to pa travel around the Empire to serve as a Panzer Soldat Drills Instructor and work on communications missions. The whole reason I'm in the capital today was to make a report. It's about something that supposedly affects all of the divisions. It seems a little shady to me, but we are covering all of our bases just to be safe. What caused you to find it suspicious? I don't think he's allowed to share that. I'm not, but I won't be surprised if you guys ended up finding out on your own. Don't be surprised if the Imperial Army reach out to you when the time comes. Hearing that just make me more worry about what they have you doing. Even the nobility has been stressed this year with my many families reorganizing their territories. My family has been helping coordinate it. Father's been so busy that I have to help him which means it's even harder for Alan and I to make time to see one another. It helps knowing that we'll finally be able to hold our wedding once things calm down. No shit. I bet that's motivated. I suppose it is about time you two tied the knot. Congrats again. Thanks, man. I finally feel like I'm a man worthy of being my, by Bridget's side after leaving the war behind. I don't plan on letting that change between now and the big day. Oh, Alan. Based on what we have learned so far from Alan and Emily, the Armored Division and Air Forces are both preparing for some sort of top secret mission. Given the current situation in Erbonia, that must be. In... <laughs> I thought he was going to end up saying something. Oh, you're the folks from the Military Academy. Fancy running into you all in the capital. Leaves, you say? I've been so busy lately I haven't even had a chance to visit the Lisa's Coffee. Frankly, there is not even time to sit down for a coffee when you are racking in record profits on the regular. It all started during the war. See, I used my car to help evacuate some capital folks. We, need, we ended up talking insurance. One thing led to another and law and behold they all sign on. Things have been snowballing ever since and can you blame them when the future is so uncertain? So yeah, business is booming, but oh, what I've done for a nibble of Lisa's latest breed. Well now, if it is Instructor Rin and Class 7. Given that you are here, I assume classes have resumed without any issues? It's been quite some time, your parents work at the cafeteria at the branch campus, if I remember correctly. That's right, they both managed to return to work. Oh, that reminds me. They've been ra rather worried about the students of the main campus ever since the prince went missing after the war and all that. The students seem determined not to lose the branch campus. Sounds like they are trying to figure themselves out. I hear Adam and Frit in particular have really been dragging the rest of the student body along. Oh, sounds like they are going all out. We can't afford to rest on our laurels either. Prince Cedric, Cedric pretty much led the entirety of the campus at one point. 
but after he left the rest of the students chose to cooperate with us of their own volition. They really have grown quite a bit, I couldn't be proud of my alma mater. By... Ah oh, wait, weapons? When I think about how the reparations have affected the empire, I can help but re resent the republic. Sure, the empire may have started the war, but leave it to the republic to demand separation at the most opportunistic of times. And it sure hasn't done any favors for the empire and its influence over other countries. How can a man of the empire not feel disgrace, given that we have been that at odds with the republic for so many years? Where did our glory shuffle off to? Our ancestors must be rolling in their graves right now. What do you say? Okay, okay. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. And you didn't tell me. And you didn't tell. And you didn't tell me. I was kind of like a little rich to buy stuff. Maybe I, I don't know. And you didn't. Never mind. Just before the war started, I had a clay's company handling the situation of my go goods. Circle and uh, whatever. <laughs> When all hell broke loose and distribution slowed to a crawl, I was able to count on their roads to get meds to my customers. I hear some less than savor things about them, but I'm glad I took a chance with our partnership. Boy, are meds in demand. I ought to prep a voucher for Clay's Co. before I make my next order. Let's get out from the middle. But it, oh. Oh. Uh, well, 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 if it is in class 7. I had no idea you were in the capital. Hey, yeah, uh, me said you guys. We weren't expecting to run into you too, of you here either. Uh, is this about time? Everyone here looks really busy. Oh, don't worry about that. I was just in the mood for a break anyway. Besides, there's no better way to get hot scoops than talking to you, Rin. Also, I'm guessing your sister will have plenty of ghosts to share to being the student council president and all. Oh, I won't be so sure about that. Oh, and I definitely asking to interview you at some point, Ash, so keep an eye out for that. I think we all know what that will be about. Ah, uh, can we just drop that? Yeah, I think that one stick with you. Either way, I think we may just stand for long enough. There are some chairs for meeting and the like over there. Why don't we go sit down? If you don't mind me asking what to bring you here, Lindy. I thought you were still doing your residency over at St. Ursula. Um, technically. After I finished helping out at the branch campus, I started another year of study in Crosswell. But while I was in here in Hemeldorf for a training session, Crosswell got occupied, so here am I. That will explain it. So obviously she decided to come spend some time with her favorite sister in the world. She's helping us with cleric clerical work as a part-timer right now. Well, Angel Company, a bunch of bleeding hearts. Well, even if they say no, I was just gonna make her pretend to be me. Either way, I win. That sounds very illegal. 
I won't put it past her for a second though. Still, I don't think anyone saw this coming. The former Governor General suddenly declaring himself Supreme Leader of Crossbell, that's a shocker. The craziness you saw when you come here is everyone trying to get a special issue ready for it all. Still, it's somewhat strange how little the general po population has been reacting to the news. Everyone seems shockingly calm. I've been getting that impression during my time in the capital too. I imagine it's due in part to the fact that no one is able to communicate with anyone over the crossbow. Maybe that lack of immediacy is keeping the reality of the situation from sinking in. Has the Chronicle conducted any opinion polls on the issue? We sure have. And I gotta say, I was surprised by what people thought the Empire should do in light of all this. Most people respond that we should try to avoid any major conflict. What is somewhat surprising? Given the recent history of Erebon, I would have assumed people would respond more belingeringly. Maybe if people are finally just sick of war. That would be my take as well. The Battle of Shurugamant may have only laid, laid uh, one entire day, but the economic toll of our reparation and the mental toll on those who were cons conscripted cannot be ignored. It's taken half a year for us to get to the point where life is finally starting to go back to normal too. Indeed, people are still focused on security, their own livelihood. Of course, that's just your average Erebonian stake on the issue, not the government's days. But neither the government nor His Majesty have cleared things up on that front yet. I've tried asking the military for a statement a few times, but no days. Now that I'm not surprised by it. Still, thanks for the information. I feel like I have a better grasp of the situation now. <laughs> you are very welcome. Now then, Rin Hot Scoops Schweizer, why don't you tell me about how your little investigation is going? And don't play dumb, I know all about it. And you do? Did they ask you to assist with the search, Vivi? Not quite. See, I first caught wind of it from a fellow reporter a little while back. It was just a rumor at that point, but I got right to work trying to incorporate it. Damn it, liver, liver, liver. I hit up every source I had from other reporters to fellow Thorns alumni like Edel, Fee, and Monk. Eventually, Major Claire realized I was hot on the story. And let's be real, at that point she didn't really have any option other than reaching out to me herself. So that's all I know. Well, that's really something. From anyone else, that story will surprise me, but from you, Vivi, I suppose the last thing anyone anyone wants is an uniformed, hearsay based version of that story getting out. Yeah, the true version's bad enough. The information was shared with me too because I'm helping Vivi out. But I don't think we know any more than you do yet. Yeah, but if we catch war of anything, you'll be the first ones to know. So give us a call if you catch war of anything yourselves. Alright, will do. I can try, but I won't expect much. This whole story is just so out of uh, all left field. The United Nations story is going to be on on the front page of the next issue. Do you have any source who may have info on the former governor general? Oh, have you finished speaking with Vivian Lindy already? Things are a little chaotic here right now, but you are welcome to make yourself at home. 
Damn it, I can't get it touch with anyone in Crossfire at all. What I'm gonna do? I need to gather more info and I need to know what the new president of Calvary is gonna say in his statement now. It sounds like the government is going to issue another statement on Crossbell. I wonder if this one's going to include a reaction from His Majesty? Maybe not, given how prickly a situation this is. That sister of Vivis has got a really good head on her shoulder. Appearance aside, she couldn't be any less like Vivi if she tried. I wish we could take her on full time to be honest. <laughs> Right, now we are just up to our eyes in work because of what's happening in Crossbell. I just hope we don't see a repeat of two years ago. Give us a shot if you hear anything all right. No. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. All the lights are passing by. All my thoughts, they multiply I see it flash before